everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're back today in the FFR shop working on the race cars. But before we get into the video, I want to give a couple of shout outs to two of our newest sponsors that we picked up this week that we are excited about introducing to you guys. We've got Thomas and Keisha Spears with Divine Clippings Lawn Care. Thank you guys so much. We cannot wait to see what we've got in store for this season and also for Zachary Kennedy with Blades Construction. Thank you guys so much for jumping on board and just blessing our team. We cannot wait to advertise for you guys and just boost your guys' business as much as possible. Get your stickers put on the car and the trailer and get them just your name out. So thank you again for that. We appreciate y'all so much. Let's jump right into it and I'll show you guys what we're gonna get done today. And the time has come guys. It's legend time. We are working on the legend car, getting it prepped for Saturday. I have rented the track and we are gonna take the car and get it ready to go and just get it shaken down and get everything figured out on it. If you've never seen one of these cars, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a brief rundown on what it is. It is a US Legends car. They are kit cars, completely tube chassis with frames, skeletons built on the inside with fiberglass bodies. They have 1250cc Yamaha crotch rocket motors inside of them. So they are just incredibly fast, very lightweight with the fiberglass bodies, single seater, just like the Bandolero car where you sit dead center of the car and they're shaft driven. Um, there's an adapter. The motor is actually sitting in there sideways. There's a shaft that runs back to a Toyota rear end and they are a blast. This car has been with me since I was about 18 years old. And I'll give you all a little bit of a brief history here in a little bit when we go and get some tires changed. But today we're gonna focus on getting the car ready and seeing what we can do. Just get it all set up, get it ready for tomorrow because we're gonna get the scales out from under the RSX, get this car set up. And I have a friend of mine coming over to get it scaled out and just to update the car and get it ready for this season. So. That's the plan for today. We're gonna get the oil changed. We're gonna get the carburetors cleaned out. I've gotta redo one of the bumpers where the bumper broke. And then the coolest part is we've got new tires. We've got a set of new tires here. So we're gonna take them over to my friend's shop, get them changed out and just get everything, nut and bolts all tight, go over the car and make sure it's 100%. So let's get to work and get this thing ready to, to head out. So we're gonna get this thing jacked up so that we can get the tires off. Y'all are probably wondering what in the world this is. This is a nifty little tool for these cars that jack them up. They're super quick to where you don't have to have a jack. So when you're at the track, they just hook in like this. Check this out. Picks the car right up and then sets it like that. Voila. So you don't have to have a jack. It's just, it's really neat. <clears throat> then you just set it down. Just like that. One down. Gonna have to use a jack on the back though because I don't have enough room back there but you gotta get the idea when it's at the track it's just real quick when you come in you gotta make a quick change it's really really handy Got the tires off, show y'all just a little bit of what we got going on here. We've got the spindles and all of the shocks. 
They're completely adjustable on all four corners. You can kind of see the engine sitting in there. That is a brand new engine for us this year, which I'm pumped about. And here is that adapter that I was telling you guys about that comes out of the uh, engine and goes to that drive shaft, which runs down the right side of the car to the rear end. I'll show you all that. This is a Toyota rear end, so it's completely adjustable. The gears in the rear, you can adjust. There's the drive shaft coming down here. Runs right down the center there, or the right side, and it's enclosed off in the inside. But here is the Toyota rear end. They take the right side of the Toyota rear end out of the trucks and they cut them. So you'll see that side is a lot longer than this side. So they're actually narrowed to work in these cars. I've got these covers, but all four shocks, as I mentioned before, are completely adjustable. Tube chassis frames, and then they run up. So this is the back bumper that my friend Bryant gave me at the last of the year uh, race last year and i was super excited about that because i'd been using the same old bumper and unfortunately the car fell off of the trailer when i was unloading it last race and a brand new bumper hadn't even been mounted or painted is destroyed so i've got this one here that i got when we went and got some uh bandolero parts the tabs are broke on them so we're actually going to get this one welded up and fix it and get it put on there so but these tires that I wanted to show you guys, these are federal tires. They're cut and you can see that they've got a completely different pattern than the ones we're going with. This year they've actually switched to Hoosier tires and you can see the tread pattern are a lot different here. These here would not last as long and they're saying these are a lot better. So they changed out to a different tire this year, more like a Hoosier tire that you would see at some big tracks like the Snowball Derby and different things like that. So let's get these tires loaded up. We'll throw them in the uh, truck. We'll head to Loper's Tire, get them changed out. And I'm gonna give you guys kind of a little bit of a backstory on this car, cause it's very cool how it worked out. So let's get them loaded up. We'll, uh, I'll see y'all in the truck. A little bit of a backstory on it is I've been racing since I was five years old. I just loved it. My dad has always been real big into racing and my friend uh matthews motorsports they actually took me on as their driver when i was roughly about 18 19 i don't remember the exact date but uh, <clears throat> darren had this car and he said hey man come drive it for me you do an awesome job why don't you jump on board and, and let's see what we can do let's race let's win some races win a championship so that's what i did i was real young I, that's all i ever wanted to do was race and so he put me in the car, I jumped right in, had a lot of success right off the bat. <clears throat> if y'all are interested in seeing some of my old videos, you can check out 2R Racing um, on YouTube. Type in Sunny South Raceway. I'll put a link right here on the screen so that you can um, go and check that out. That's some of my old races whenever I would use, you know, an old uh, video camera zip tied to my roll bar before they had like GoPros and the technology they do now But you can go and check them out. My car was hot pink and baby blue and black My number was 2R. I'll put a few pictures up so that you can see what it used to look like We just had a good old time. We traveled and went a few places with the car had a blast won a ton of races We were just really competitive because that's what I really put my heart and soul into was racing was up at the race shop every chance I got so it was just something that was very cool I ended up quitting racing this car um, to pursue my family to, to get married and to just have a family so um, Darren let it sit for a while and actually the opportunity came available for me to buy it and so my wife being so supportive like she always is said scholar I want you to do it go buy the car and without hesitation I called Darren up and I said hey I want it so I was able to actually race it for the first time as a owner instead of just the, you know driving for the owner. So I'll also show y'all some bit you know pictures of that. This was the first race that I ever got to race. I took the R off; it was just number two, and so that that was just it was very sentimental to me being able to have that night to race 
as the owner of the car that I've drove for so long. So it was just awesome. It was an awesome feeling to be able to have my wife and my kids there and to be able to race and just enjoy racing and have fun. So um, uh, last year decided to change my number to uh, from two to 13 just because of some of the you know things that went down with how I got the car and people don't like number 13, lucky 13, you know, people get kind of weirded out by 13, Friday the 13th. So I thought it was something neat. Um, blew an engine last year. I didn't know if the number change had anything to do with it, but it, I know it did it because I was running an old motor, but just have awesome sponsors, Dixie Glass, uh, CHM with Tyler Sexton uh, and Hatcher Farms venue, they all pitched in together, was able to buy us this motor for this season. And then we picked up, of course, you know, Divine Clippings and Blades this year to be able to to be able to pour some more money into the cars and get them ready. So that's just kind of a backstory. The legend car is so sentimental to me and my family just because of the stories and the victories, the championships that we were able to win with it and things like that. So it's just very cool. So that's kind of a back history on this car. And that's another reason why I'm so excited to be able to, you know, get it going this year. So let's get to the uh, tire shop, get these tires changed out, and uh, get some fresh rubber on there. stock and bandoleros just a sweet little spot over there playing them some cornhole practicing up for the Eli strong tournament the cornhole tournament so hopefully I'll be able to participate on that but anyway thank you Eli I hope that uh, you're able to get your bando going and we'll see you on the track I'll get to race a little bit with uh, Eli this year in the bandolero so but we'll call that a day and uh, we'll get home uh, get the tires unloaded and I'll catch you guys first thing in the morning. Woo! Good morning, everybody. Man, it's like 40 degrees out here. If you can see your breath, not my type of weather. But let's get right into it. We've got some close friends of mine coming over this morning to put an awesome setup on this car. We were able to get the tires swapped out and I got them in here, but Let's get the shop cleaned up, tidied up, and get everything set up and get ready for this car to be tore down and get a good setup on it. So let's do it.
all straightened and aligned up. But man, Mr. David has knocked it out. The front end was all messed up. We got it completely straight, got it all set up. And now we're just gonna start working on the uh, rear end. Get everything squared back up and she'll be ready to go. After that, all we'll have to do is get the oil changed and give her a wash and make sure that we got everything ready as far as the tires, loading it up and we'll get ready to head to the track. So y'all stay tuned and when we come back, we'll get it washed up and get her loaded.